Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. So there's been a lot going on um, lately and I know none of us are dumb and all of us kind of know what's been going on. Um, I took a three week leave of absence from my work. So I have the next couple weeks, you know, in California, we're um, in shelter in place mode under orders here. So, um, I don't want to talk really about that. Um, I made my decision and, um, I have been feeling a little bit guilty about it just because I really truly want to help my patients get better. And I feel, um, you know, just kind of disappointed that I'm being put in this place right now where I can't do the best that I can do to help them right now. Um, so today's video, you know, I think there's a lot that we can do as hand therapists. And I think that there's a lot of opportunities that I can still help people. Um, and so today I really want to film a video about ergonomics. Um, for so many of you who are uh, school, you know, your schools are canceled right now, or you're doing online classes, mandatory um, workplaces that have sent people home, people are working at home right now. Um, and it's just something very different that none of us are really used to doing. So I want to really focus today on how you can keep yourself safe and how you can keep your body healthy and yourself healthy as you're going through this working from home or you're doing school from home. All of us need to really pay attention to our ergonomics and our posture um, and we can make a huge impact on our health and our safety while we're doing this you know, however long it lasts. Um, and it's something that I think a lot of people will take kind of lightly of like, well, it's fine. I can sit on the couch and do some work, but you know what? You're going to end up with a repetitive strain injury. Or you're going to have back pain or you're going to have knee pain or hip pain or some type of pain. Um, and I think it's really important, you know, when, when we think about hand therapy, we tend to think about like purely focusing on the hand or the wrist or the elbow. But honestly, so much of that comes from our posture. And if if we're not in good posture proximally, or we don't have a good setup for our body to be working in, that's gonna make our arms move in ways where they really shouldn't be. They're doing compensatory movements. They're um, gonna have some dysfunctional movement patterns. And so I think it's really important that we all focus on, you know, how we can keep ourselves healthy even through this difficult time. So. That's what this video is on today. I hope that it reaches somebody out there, even if just one person um, gets something out of this video, then it will have been worth it. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please feel free to share with anybody that you know who might benefit from learning about how to keep themselves healthy while at work, while at home. Um, whether you're a student, whether you're um, a worker, anything like that, anybody who has to do some sort of desk work, computer work, um, which is pretty much all of us at this point. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and feel free to share. Um, also, please comment below for any tips that you might have. Let's really get this community engaged. Um, let's all share our tips that we have for staying healthy while working at home. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so um, we are going to go ahead and look at a workstation setup. So my first recommendation for you if you are working at home um, or if you're a college student or a university student and you are having to do your classes online right now, my recommendation for you is set yourself up a workstation or a desk that you're going to do all of your work at. It might seem really tempting right now while you're at home um, to sit on the couch or on your bed. Um, and that might seem really comfy and cozy at first, but your body's really going to regret it. Um, you're going to feel a lot of pain later if you do. Um, so whether it be at a kitchen table or a desk, whatever you have, um, get yourself a place uh, that you can successfully work um, and do everything that you need to do at um, and keep it kind of stationary. So essentially, you want to have some sort of flat surface like a table, whether it's a kitchen table or a desk, um, make sure that you have a good chair that keeps you at an appropriate level. So looking at this picture of like a proper ergonomic positioning, 
Um, you can see, first of all, that the monitor is at good height for the person's eyes. So again, you want um, kind of the monitor to be pretty much directly in front of you about an arm's length away. For most of us, we work on laptop computers. So that poses a little bit of a challenge where you may need to um, either get an external keyboard so that you can put your laptop screen up a little bit higher so that it's appropriate height for your neck and your face to look at, um, or you can uh, use a separate monitor if you have one and kind of continue to use the keyboard on your laptop computer. So that's always helpful. Um, next, we go ahead and look at their positioning. So again, their body is in really good posture. He's got a nice straight spine, um, good lumbar support in the chair. Uh, you look at the hips, they're about 90 degrees, a little bit less than 90 degree angle. Um, and then for most people, you'll have your feet rested, planted firmly on the floor, not cross-legged, not anything, you know, crisscross applesauce, um, which is how I usually sit in a desk chair. So both feet on the floor, if you're a little bit too short for, you know, kind of the height setup of the table versus your desk. Um, then you can get like a sturdy surface, like a little step or um, a, an angled board that you can put your feet on to rest them. And then I want to also mention, um, again, looking at the wrist position. So this guy in the picture has a really good wrist position. It's very neutral. He's not resting it down on the desk. Um, I know a lot of people have those little wrist rest uh, foam cushiony things. Um, those are a great product, but they're actually named really stupidly in my opinion. So you're not actually supposed to rest your wrists on them. You're supposed to let your wrists float above them. So again, just making sure that you're keeping your wrist in a nice neutral posture. They're not over flexed or um, extended or anything like that. Um, and then you also want to keep everything that you use a lot within arm's reach. So, you know, if you have a if you have to use a phone a lot, um, either get a headset or keep your phone close to you if you need, uh, I don't know, like a stapler or something, don't keep it really far away from you so that you have to reach for it all the time. Um, so that's just kind of good basic ergonomic setup. Um, so that is something that you guys can refer back to when you're setting up your workstation. Look at this picture, figure out all of the different things that you can adjust to make it an appropriate fit for you. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some examples on myself. I apologize, the recording is not the best. Um, I have a limited amount of space, uh, so I'm just kind of showing you literally a realistic idea of what it might look like for you. Um, for me personally, um, you know, I have just like an IKEA desk chair, so I don't typically do a lot of computer work at home. So. My setup isn't the best. This isn't a chair that I would recommend for anybody. It's definitely not a good ergonomic chair. It's not adjustable. Um, it doesn't have like a good low back support or anything like that, but realistically what I use. Um, the desk that I have is also quite high, as you can probably tell from the picture, so it's definitely not a good position um, for me to be typing on like at a laptop, but you can from this image see that I have a good, pretty good um, ability to, like the chair is a pretty good height for me. It's just not a good match with the desk. So my hips are at a good position. You know, they're just less than 90 degree angle. My feet are planted on the floor um, and I'm showing you that I'm sitting up straight. So we'll go ahead and kind of talk through a couple things in this video and just bear with me here. So um, ideally, I would want like a keyboard to sit at about that point, like just above my lap so that my arms are a little bit more relaxed um, and that my wrists aren't bent. Um, and I'm just showing you here, you can use a folded towel. So for me, again, this desk is a little bit too high. So if I were to put like a folded towel or something, you know, underneath me, it puts me at a slightly better position. Um, love the thumbs up there. You can also use a towel to create like a little lumbar roll. So again, this chair is not very good um, for lumbar support, but you can use a towel to give yourself a little bit of like a lumbar cushion. And it does feel really nice when you have that back there. It gives you a lot better support um, and it's easier to stay in a good posture, okay? Um, 
So I don't, I actually just ordered a um, wireless keyboard. I don't have one right now. So I'm just mimicking what that maybe would look like for kind of how I plan to use it when I get it next week. And yeah. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and kind of keep going through um, examples here. So zoomed back a little bit just so that you can see kind of the full desk setup that I have going on. And I'm gonna just kind of start playing the video clip and we'll talk through it as we go. So sorry for that volume. Um, okay, so I just hit my knee on the desk, which is dumb, but I'm. this is going to look super awkward and forced, but this is legitimately how I sit a lot of the time at my computer because obviously you can see that I use a laptop um, and it's clearly not at the right height for me. So um, I tend to kind of get into this forward head, forward neck posture. My back is curved. Um, I actually usually sit crisscross applesauce on the chair, so I'm cheating a little bit and showing you cross-legged, but I just hate the way it feels when I have my feet on the floor, even though I know it's really good posture. So, And then obviously look at my wrists. They're really um, flexed, which is also not a good thing. Um, so this is just not a good posture, and it's how I tend to sit at my desk. So probably a lot of you do something similar as well. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't do a lot of voiceover recording. Sorry, guys, if this is super awkward as you're watching it. So now I'm going to show you kind of ways that I can fix this posturing, right? So I'm going to sit up nice and tall and straight. Still not a great angle for me. Again, like my computer monitor is just not in the right position. So what I actually purchased a few months ago is the next stand. So um, I got it on Amazon for $30, and I will uh, put the link in the description below. Um, it's really portable, small, light. It opens easily. It's easy to set up, um, and pretty much any laptop will fit in it. So you can get a little bit better height on the laptop, and, and you can see I can kind of adjust the monitor angle so that it doesn't have any glare and that it's in the right place for me. Um, so I am going to use, again, like a towel to help boost me up a little bit because it is just a little bit higher than I would like it to be because my desk is so tall for me. Um, and then I'm just mimicking again. So when I get my wireless keyboard later this week, I'm going to end up using that right up by my lap. Um, and then I'm going to actually use a pillow as like a little lumbar cushion because I know that I'll tend to lean forwards if I don't have something putting me up and supporting me back there. So that would actually be a pretty good ergonomic position for me and something, you know, I in this situation as well with a laptop, you also want to get like an external mouse of some sort too, so that you're not having to awkwardly reach for the trackpad. But wow, this looks super awkward, but just imagine what it will look like when I have an actual keyboard next week. Yeah, okay, so we'll go ahead and pause that. Um, so the other thing that I think is super, super important um, and something that you should also do while you're at work, but also while you're working from home, is making sure that you take breaks throughout the day to stretch. So essentially every 30 minutes, you wanna take just even a few seconds to get your hands off the keyboard, stretch your forearms, stretch your uh, neck, Make sure that you're feeling okay before you get back to work. Um, and every hour, you should actually be getting up and walking away from your computer for about two minutes um, to three minutes. So that can be, you know, bathroom break at work. It's when you're getting up to use the copier or the printer, um, or you're getting coffee, or you're, you know, using the restroom or whatever you're doing. But you really should be changing your position every hour um, before you settle back in and go back to work. Um, and if you make sure that you have good ergonomics and good positioning and you're doing stretches frequently throughout the day and you're getting a little bit of movement, you're going to have a lot less risk of developing a repetitive strain injury. So hopefully um, that is helpful advice. Please, again, feel free to share it with anybody who you feel like might benefit. I know that all of us are kind of undergoing 
such a strange time right now where people are literally working from home or doing school from home. Um, but it, ergonomics are going to help keep you safe and healthy, um, and they're going to keep you from getting injured. So please feel free to comment below if you have any questions or comments or if you have anything that you know could have been included in this video um, or any other helpful tips for people that we want to get the word out for. Um, again, I'm feeling really glad that I was able to make this video today because I think it's something that, you know, as a hand therapist, I feel is so important um, and I want to be there to help people in any way that I can. And I know that right now I can't treat patients in the normal capacity that I normally do. And so I'm hoping that this video is just, you know, kind of like a little love letter to everybody out there and just take care of yourselves, um, be careful and, and take care of your body too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends, um, anybody that you know that could benefit from this education. Um, and please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.